these are mostly film photos. Actually, I have to update my website. It's been a long time since I've updated it, maybe about eight months. I've been a photographer and taking it serious for about six years at this point. Uh, I've always been into it, but yeah, six years I've been taking it serious. Uh, and only film until about six months ago when I finally just dove into digital. I look for patterns, contrast, like black on white, a lot of shadows. I like to play with light. Silhouettes, man looking about the mountain. Here's another one. Maybe you can't see this one very well, but this is Makwa back here. Uh, it's my friend Kyle on our balcony. Pattern, repetition, black and white, lines. If I'm shooting a photo, it, most of the time it has to be in the moment. I can't just like set it up. Like, a, like studio photography is cool, but I, I like to shoot photos in the moment. And this is uh, very momentary. This was in the moment. My friend Adrian power sliding downhill in San Francisco in his shadow just creates this monster behind him, the boogeyman. This one was very momentary as well. This is why I chose it. Uh, a couple getting married in the background. And this is again in London, same person, she's back tailing the sledge. I have a habit of shooting people sleeping on the street, uh, homeless or very into drugs and just crippling themselves. And I think that's because that's what I fear most in life is being alone and broke and homeless and not being able to help myself. Here's a man, you can tell the fear in his eyes, this is very momentary, like I was talking about before. Police arresting him for uh, bludgeoning another man with a blunt object and uh, making him bleed a lot. There is one, specifically, and it was a car accident. And I was shooed away by police, and there was a body hanging out of the window. Vivian Meyer, even though she's not around anymore, this was a woman who shot photography for most of her life and no one ever knew until she died and they found a trunk full of film and they processed all of it and she never got any recognition until she was gone. I may sound a little sick for this one, but if I could freeze time and take the perfect photo, it'd probably be something traumatic like a suicide someone jumping off a bridge and that sounds a little dark but it's just it's a photo that you don't see very often so it's very rare I see the progress of my own work going from shooting something so so simple to complicated and now I'm trying to shoot even more simple work like portraits this is a, a friend of mine who is a cop he's a total badass but this picture defines him this is another friend who has some uh, some demons of her own. Uh, this is a friend, and this is the city behind him that represents him. So, and it's my friend Adam. Uh, skates for Hotel Blue. Works at Labor Skate Shop in New York, and uh, this is probably his last week in San Francisco. And this is him pushing down the street in the middle of traffic. And uh, you don't really see people pushing downtown in San Francisco. It's always in the hills. And this is, just reminds me of uh, old Sub-Zero era, like Ricky Oyola, and just mashing down the street. Basically just by myself. I don't like to be around people. I like to focus. Sometimes I do drugs and I just go out by myself and I'm not with people. And I feel like that gives me a different perspective on things. Alone. Specifically in the rain. I like when it's raining because it's very moody. Everyone has an umbrella, which is something you don't see every day unless you live somewhere where it rains every day. But uh, yeah, I think that just me and the camera, it's, that's it. Dark.